G'day, I'm here to compare the HQ 50 5x4x4 props to the DAL 5040 props. Uh, let's tell you straight out the uh, HQ props provide more thrust. Uh, they are a stiffer prop. Uh, their HQ props tend to chip when you come into branches and so forth. Um, they're still flyable, flyable like this. I haven't noticed a cockopter being uns unsettled or anything. The DAL props, they don't chip, they bend. You can see the crease there. You can see this is this one here is one without a crease. What happens is you get in a crash and the bit prop bends over and you pick up your quad with it like this and then you just uh, give it a little bit of a squidgy and off you go flying again so this quadcopter here I'm learning tricks on and uh, and crashing it a lot so the uh, DAL props on this work out great I'll just pick it up and bend them back this quad here I, I use to do some filming and I want nice and smooth and a good bit of punch every now and then and I don't intend on crashing it so that's where the HQ props work out good on this one every now and then I'll clip a bit of a branch or something and it'll take a chip out but other than that uh, the HQ props work well on this one and the dowels for crashing a lot work really good on this uh, let's have a look on the inside of the packet So these holes are blanked all the way through. There's no adjustment on the size of these. And the HQs, they come with a slightly larger hole. And you got your adapters to suit. It's almost identical, the hole. So there you go. You got your HQ, which are nice and stiff and provide a lot of thrust. They get damaged quite easily. And you got your dowel props that provide not as much thrust, but they give you the stability that the uh, come with four bladed props. And you can crash them as much as you want before you need to replace them.